हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू नुजाद दिस इज रोहित शर्मा एंड अ वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ वीएसएससी सॉल्व वीएससी वीएसएससी 2000 पेपर 2018 पेपर ओके सो एज वीएसएससी एग्जाम इज अप्रोचिंग नियर टू अस इन अराउंड इन द मंथ ऑफ जनवरी यू कैन हैव योर वीएसएससी एग्जाम सो आई एम ट्राइंग टू सॉल्व वीएसएससी पेपर्स सो वीएसएससी 2019 इज ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल ऑन माय YouTube चैनल यू कैन गो गो थ्रू दैट गो थ्रू दोस videos or i have also made a playlist for that vssc 2019 and also i will make a playlist for 2018 too okay so in this is the part 1 of this video and i am going to solve question number 1 to question number 80 uh, question number 20 okay so video will be in four parts as you know vssc had total 80 question so 1 to 20 in first part second part 20 to 21 to 40 then 41 to 60 and then 61 to 80 okay so Before starting the video, please subscribe the channel. Okay, so very very important. Subscribe the channel for further updates. And uh, let's start the video. Question number first: The given logic circuit represents. Okay, so this is an XOR gate. If I am taking this as uh, x1, x2, x3, and x4. Okay, so x1, x2, x3, and x4. So y1 is equal to here. This is y1. This is y2. This is y3, and this is y4. So I can write y1 is equal to x1. And y2 is equal to x1 xor x2, okay. And y3 is equal to x2 xor x3. Y3 y4 is equal to x3 x4, x3 xor x4. Suppose uh, this is some somewhat like one zero zero, okay. One zero one zero. Ah, uh, one will be taken as as it is. Then one xor zero is one. Then zero xor one is one. And then one xor zero is one. Okay, so for one zero one zero, this is binary to gray code. So this will be one one one. So this is a binary to gray code converter, four bit binary to gray code converter. Option C is the correct answer. Okay, the next question: Assume worst case SNR, SNR of a ten bit ADC. So n is equal to ten bit, where uh, SNR will be for fifty seven dB. If the resolution is increased by two bits, now the now n will be equal to twelve bit. Okay. So I have already given the solution for all the question here. Besides, okay. So n is equal to twelve bit. The resulting SNR. Okay. So SNR formula is six point zero two into n plus one point seven six dB. So here n is equal to twelve bit. So six point zero two into twelve plus one point six, you will get seventy four dB as the correct answer. Okay. So you have to choose the approximate answer. So here you can choose. 69 dB as the correct answer, okay? But 74 dB will be the correct answer. Now next, in the optical communication using silica optical fiber, one nanometer spectral bandwidth, that is del lambda, okay? This is uh, this is given as spectral bandwidth, uh, spectral uh, width in nanometer. So this is equal to one nanometer is equal to one into ten to the power minus nine meter. At 1300 nanometer, this is the wavelength, that is the lambda is equal to 1300 nanometer. 1300 into 10 to the power minus 9 corresponds to a bandwidth of. We have to find the bandwidth. Okay, so we know that del f is equal to c dot del lambda upon me n into del n into lambda square. So del f is equal to bandwidth. C is equal to speed of light that is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Del lambda is equal to spectral width in nanometer. Lambda is equal to wavelength in nanometer and n is the refractive index. Okay, so del f is equal to c dot del lambda uh, upon n dot del square. So c is 3 into 10 to the power 8. Del F is given as one uh, into ten to the power minus nine. I have written this. N refractive index is equal to one point five given in the question. Okay, into thirteen into ten to the power minus nine whole square, which is the wavelength that is lambda in nanometer. Okay, so you will get one twenty gigahertz as the approximate answer. So option B is the correct answer here. Okay, so next is question number four. Graded index fiber is used to. So graded index fiber is used to minimize the dispersion. Okay. Minimize the dispersion. This is because in the graded index fiber, the profile of the refractive index is parabolic. Remember, and due to this refocusing of the signal within the core is increased, which eventually increases the data rate. So, graded index fiber is used to minimize the dispersion. Okay. Now, question number fifth: the range of the number represented by an eight bit. For an eight bit, the range is represented by minus two to the power n minus one to two to the power n minus one minus of One. Okay. So this is an eight bit. So you can say minus two eight minus one two two to the power eight minus one minus one. Okay. 
from here you will get minus 128 to 127 is the correct answer so minus 122 plus 127 option a is the correct answer now next one next question an inductor of 3.3 milli henry with a series resistance of 12.5 ohm is connected to a 5 volt dc source okay so when the supply is switched off the current the circuit current decay to 0 in 60 microsecond what is the back value of back emf generated so we know that e is equal to minus n d5 by dt or you can say e is equal to minus l d i by dt okay so here uh, inductor value inductor value l is equal to minus 3.3 .3 into 10 to the power minus uh, 3 is given as 3.3 .3 milli henry okay into d i by dt so current is equal to 5 upon 12.5 given here 5 upon 12.5 current is given upon time uh, upon the upon your time 60 microseconds 60 into 10 to the power minus 6 so option will be uh, answer will be l minus 3.3 .3 into 10 to the power minus 3 into current is 3 2 upon 5 the change in current 2 upon 5 upon the change in uh, time is 60 into 10 to the power minus 6 that is the microsecond so here you will get minus 22 volt as the correct answer option c okay next question question number 7 very very important question what is the far the circuit shown below what is the approximate value of phase angle between the current i and v output now this is a rc circuit for an rc circuit the impedance will be equal to r minus j xc okay so first of all you have to find xc which is equal to 1 upon j omega c okay so let's see this so we know that xc is equal to g, uh, 1 upon omega c remember so from here xc you will get 4.97 into 10 to the power 3 or you can say 5 kilo ohm okay simple so i can write z equal to r minus j xc so this will be equal to r minus of j 4.97 into 10 to the power 3 okay so r is 5 kilo ohm and this is also in kilo ohm so into 10 to the power 3 ohm so i can write 5 minus 5 j into 10 to the power 3 or in polar form okay you can write as 5 angle minus 45 degree now current is equal to voltage upon resistance or your volt current is equal to voltage upon resistance or voltage upon impedance because it's a rc circuit so voltage is given as 1.44 angle 0 and impedance is given as 5 into 10 to the power 3 angle minus 45 from here you will get 0 0.288 into 10 to the power minus 3 angle 45 degree okay the phase angle between the current and the voltage of the capacitor will always be 90 degree for a pure capacitor you know that current always leads the voltage in a capacitor form with 90 degree so now the angle will be equal to 90 minus 45 is equal to 45 degree will be the phase angle next question question number eight in a eight bit twos complement number system inversion of all eight bit occur during core transition from minus one to zero option d will be the correct answer so here when all eight bits are ones then the value will be minus one for twos complement okay so msb is one so negative number and ways will be 128 64 like this okay so this will be minus 128 to 127 or you can say minus 1 uh, decimal number minus 1 the 0 is represented by this 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 in second complement form so all bits will be changed from transition takes place from minus 1 to 0 okay for a 2 uh, for a 8 bit 2's complement number system question number 9 for a parallel tuned circuit which of the following behaves as a parallel tuned LC circuit so here equation if you know that for a parallel tune lc circuit equation is z input is equal to z or z naught dot zl plus j z naught 10 beta l upon z naught plus j zl 10 beta l where zl is is the load impedance and z zl is the load impedance and z naught is the characteristic impedance okay characteristic impedance okay so beta is given as 2 pi by lambda and i is equal to lambda by 2 by putting the value you will get z naught square upon zl for the input impedance to be infinite the load load resistance must be zero okay so the line must be short circuited okay line must be short circuited so option d will be the correct answer next question the dielectric constant of a material is in a transmission line is 2 okay so velocity factor so velocity factor is nothing but velocity factor is 1 upon root k and k the dielectric constant which is equal to 2 so vf is equal to 1 upon root 2 which is equal to 0 0.707 and this is 70.7 percent as the correct answer 
ओके सो अ वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन जस्ट अ फॉर्मुला बेस्ड क्वेश्चन वॉज इट वॉज नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन बेस्ड ऑन सुपर हेट्रोडाइन रिसीवर हैविंग नो आर एफ एम्पलीफायर आई एफ द इंटरमीडिएट फ्रिक्वेंसी इज गिवन एज फोर फिफ्टी फाइव किलो हर्ट्स ओके इमेज फ्रिक्वेंसी इज इमेज फ्रिक्वेंसी इज एफ आई प्लस टू आई एफ ओके दैट इज द इंटरमीडिएट फ्रिक्वेंसी सो एफ आई इज द थाउजेंड किलो हर्ट्स गिवन हेयर प्लस ट्वाइस ऑफ फोर फिफ्टी फाइव विच इज इक्वल टू वन नाइन वन जीरो किलो हर्ट्स एज द करेक्ट आंसर आई हैव डन दिस क्वेश्चन प्रीवियस ऑल्सो ओके प्रीवियसली ऑल्सो आई हैव डन दिस क्वेश्चन एंड इन टेस्टरीज आई ऑल्सो गिवन दिस क्वेश्चन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्थ अ स्टेशनरी सी डब्ल्यू रेड आर इज ऑपरेटिंग एट फाइव ई गर्ड्स डॉपलर फ्रिक्वेंसी नॉट डॉपलर फ्रिक्वेंसी इज गिवन एज एफ कैरियर इन टू रिलेटिव विलॉसिटी अपॉन द स्पीड ऑफ लाइट ओके नाउ विलॉसिटी इज गिवन एज वन जीरो एट किलोमीटर पर आर बट वी नीड एन मीटर पर सेकेंड सो आई कैन चेंज इट बाई वन जीरो एट इंटू माई फाइव अपॉन एटीन यू विल गेट थर्टी मीटर पर सेकेंड एज द विलॉसिटी कैरियर फ्रिक्वेंसी फाइव ई हर्ट्स सो दिस विल भी फाइव इंटू टेन टू द पावर नाइन हर्ट्स ओके स्पीड द स्पीड ऑफ लाइट इज थ्री इंटू टेन टू द पावर एट मीटर पर सेकेंड जस्ट put the values in this formula you can uh, get the doppler frequency which is equal to 500 hertz as the correct answer option c next question for a pulse radar with maximum unambiguous range of 60 km what is the maximum allowable fre repetition frequency now maximum ambiguous range is given as c into prt upon 2 okay c into prt upon 2 where prt is equal to pulse repetition repetition time but we want pulse repetition frequency so prt is equal to 1 by prf so c upon 2 into prf so prf is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 upon 2 into 60 km that is the unambiguous range which is given to you so prf will be equal to 2.5 into 10 to the power 5 pps okay so option d will be the correct answer question number 14 we have studied it again and again that bandwidth efficiency is given as bandwidth bits plus second bits per second per hertz please remember this question question number 15 an rlc circuit is connected to 230 volt 50 hertz line if r is equal to 200 ohm xl is equal to 100 ohm xc is equal to 200 ohm how much capacitor is to be added to the circuit to bring the circuit now please remember for resonance current is for resonant or at resonance condition the current is maximum and the xl the inductive reactance should all, always be equal to the capacitive reactance okay so now inductive reactance is 100 so 100 is equal to 200 xc xc is 200 minus my xc that is the capacitance to be added to make it equal okay so xc is equal to 1 upon omega c which is equal to 1 upon 2 pi fc f is given to you okay from here you can find the extra capacitance that should be added which is equal to 15.9 microfarad option c next question uh good question what is the content of accumulator and carry flag after executing the following so this is a 8085 microprocessor programming okay so mvi a comma 53h that is a move immediate data to accumulator that is 53h so i have taken this a is equal to 53h this is equal to 01010011 now move immediate data to b that is 32h so this is 32h now add ab i am adding ab and moving the content to the accumulator that is 85h okay now rrc means rrc means rated accumulator resistor content right with the carry okay rated me sorry this is rotate accumulator rotate accumulator resistor content right okay we have to rotate the accumulator like this 1000 101 one. you have to shift this one here like this so this will be 1100010 Like this, okay. So A will be equal to forty-two H, and the carry flag will be one. Remember, option C will be the sorry, option A will be the correct answer. Next, in the mobile communication system, handoff is a technique used to. So handoff is the process of changing the channel. Remember, frequency, time slot, spreading code, or combination of them associated with the current connection while a call is in. progress okay it is often initiated either by crossing a cell boundary or by a deterioration in the quality of the signal in the current channel so handoff is a technique used to maintain an acceptable link when a mobile system transfers traverses a cell boundary so option c will be the correct answer now next 18th question 
द नॉइज कॉज बाय रैंडम वेरिएशन इन द अराइवल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स और होल्स एट द आउटपुट इलेक्ट्रोड ऑफ एन एम्पलीफाइंग डिवाइस इज नोन एज शॉर्ट नॉइज यू कैन स्टडी दिस वॉट इज अ शॉर्ट नॉइज आई हैव रिटर्न दिस हेयर ओके सो यू कैन स्टडी दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन लेट सी दिस क्वेश्चन इजी क्वेश्चन बेस्ड अपॉन मल्टीप्लेक्सर सो वट विल बी द आउटपुट हेयर सो आउटपुट विल बी इक्वल टू एस वन बार एस नॉट बार इन टू सी बार ओके डेट इन टू आई थ्री then another s1 s1 bar s0 into i2 that is c bar then again s1 s0 bar into c again s1 s0 c so s1 bar s0 bar is a bar b bar c bar again a bar, a bar b c plus ab bar this is c bar ab bar c plus ab c okay on uh, making a k map you will get ax or c as the correct answer okay so option d last question in this part 1 question 1 to question 20 so for an op amp slew rate is sr is given as 5 volt per meter second for uh, sorry per ms what is the maximum closed loop voltage gain that can be used so dv not by dt is equal to 5 volt per ms so dv in by dt is given as 0.2 volt upon 10 ms okay so v not by v input which is the maximum closed loop voltage square this will be equal to dv not by dt divided by dv in upon dt so on solving this you will get 5 upon 1 ms into 10 ms divided by 0.2 so this will be 10 so this will be into 10 so 5 50 15 to 5 250 will be the correct answer so v not by v input that is the closed loop voltage gain so option b will be the correct answer so this will be the part this is the part 1 of vsst 2018 solved paper okay if you have any doubt regarding this you can ask me in that youtube comment section and till then okay bye take care we will meet with another part 2 of vsst 2018 okay then bye